Hey, it's Mark. I've been playing around with my Google Pixel, translating things with the lens, audio, watching YouTube videos, and getting live captions on the screen. I'm going to show you all of that, how it works in this video. First, we're going to look at Google Lens and using Live Translate, which is a really cool tool. So if you have a Pixel 6 or newer, this is built in on your phone. For other Android devices, you can also get this. Uh, it's just not as integrated into the device. To demonstrate this, I'm going to take this book. It's got some English text on it and show you how Live Translate works, just opening it up through Google Lens. So easiest way to do that is on your phone. Just click on the bottom right on the little square with the lens. Then you're going to click on the camera icon here. And you can see along the bottom, there's an option that says translate. So you click translate. And right now I've got it set to go from English to Latin. So you can see here, it's actually translating text into Latin, just looking through the camera. And then the cool thing is you can pick the language there. And as you see here, there's a ton of languages. I don't know. I mean, look, you just scroll down the list, pick whatever you want. Let's say you want to see something in Mongolian. And then you click the translate little circle button down at the bottom. Now this is in Mongolian. I don't know how to pronounce this. Maybe some of you watching do, um, but that's pretty cool. But I could pick, you know, use the search box up top if I wanted. Pick French. And there you go. It's in French. So no longer is language a barrier if you have some written text and a Google Pixel phone. <clears throat> you can just use that Live Translate and get that there. Now I'm going to show you how to use Google Live Translate, which you can use for text, calls, messages, even watching YouTube videos and just get a live translation right here on your Pixel phone. The first thing you need to do is turn on Live Translate on your phone. So to do that, you go to your settings right here, click on settings, and then you go down to system on your phone here. Uh, right there near the bottom it says system and then live translate and i've got it turned on right now yeah you have a few options in here i've clicked french to translate um, from french you can add whatever language you want it to translate from etc um, so if, if somebody sent you something in french it would translate to english um, on there automatically so to use live caption on a youtube video for example you just press the volume button on the side here. So I've got one of our how-to authority videos playing. And then you click on the three dots right there below the volume button. And there's an option here if you go down to settings and then scroll down and there's one that says live caption right there. So you can click live caption on there and then it's got language options right there. So I've got English, French in there automatically translate, etc. So if I go back to our YouTube video now, we should see the live caption playing right here on the screen. All right, so I hit Portuguese. We got the video playing. Looks like it's coming up in Portuguese. It's detecting it, so that's pretty cool. Um, not bad. Use live caption if you wanna, even if you're trying to learn another language, you could put in Chinese or whatever and just watch a video and have the live captions in there Japanese There's a bunch of options if you look there in live captions So now I'm going to show you how to use interpreter mode from live conversation So you could be speaking with someone that's speaking Japanese French Whatever it is and then have this interpreter mode on on your pixel phone and see what they're saying in English Which is really cool and really useful um, to do that, you're going to activate the Google Assistant and then say something with the word interpreter, like, hey Google, be my interpreter, interpret into Spanish. Right, so it just activated. I didn't even press the button because I'm on a pixel. Um, so I'm going to pause that and I'll give you a demo here. Be my interpreter from French to English. Je suis prêt à vous aider. I'm ready to help you. Please feel free to provide me with the French text you'd like me to translate into English. I'll do my best to provide an accurate and clear translation. Yeah, so you can either type the text in, you can take a picture of it with lens, or you can just click the microphone icon there, and I'll try it with my French with my American accent and see how that works. Como ça va?
that's not French. Como ça va? doesn't seem to be a phrase in the French language. If you could provide the correct French phrase or some context about what you're trying to say, I'd be happy to assist you. Here are some possibilities based on similar sounding phrases in other Okay, so it said that's not French. So for someone that's learning French, you know, maybe that's a little insulting. I actually speak French fairly well. Apparently my accent is too strong American. So let me try again with a more French type accent. Let's see how it works. Como ça va? All right, so I've tried this several times. It works okay, picks up some things. And you can even see that the voice reading back to me from Google doesn't pronounce it all, at all like it should be in the language. So I found a few issues with this. I'd be curious to, to hear what others' experiences have been using the live translate interpreter mode or live conversation. So far, I'm not that impressed. I don't think it's really ready yet, but that's just my personal experience with my American accent speaking French. All in all, there are some great features using the Pixel phone and translating things live. For me personally, my favorite is using Google Lens, just clicking on that image, hovering over a, a piece of text, a document, and seeing it translated in whatever language you want. It's a really useful tool. The live captions are useful if you want to watch a video and get the captions in another language like I showed you on YouTube. And then the conversation one, not ready yet, in my opinion. Or maybe it's just my accent. Maybe it's really just need to work on my French accent. If you like this video, give it a like and subscribe to our channel. And we'll see you again soon.